I wanted to be reelected. I've still got things I'd like to do, an agenda that I really would like to have the opportunity to push through. But looking at the situation with the Republican majority, what it is, I'm not sure how much I, I could have accomplished of my own remaining agenda anyway. <laughs> Fourteen-term Congressman John Spratt was one of the Democrats' bitterest losses in the 2010 midterm elections. A longtime ranking member and chairman of the Budget Committee, he helped balance the budget during the Clinton years. Roll Call recently sat down with Spratt to reflect on his nearly three decades in office. Well, I guess one of my proudest moments was the passage of the Balanced Budget Act of 1997. It actually moved the budget to surplus for the first time in 30 years. And over the next three to four years, we actually paid off national debt, three to four hundred billion dollars of national debt. And we put the country, the government, on the soundest fiscal course we had been on in 50 years, probably since the end of the Second World War. I've had some tough races, and I told Reporters in the midst of this campaign, I've had tougher opponents than the opponent who's facing me now. It's just I have not had one who would have this kind of disposable money at his beck and call or one riding such a tidal wave of uh, any incumbency. We ran a substantial campaign, probably close to $2, billion, two million dollars ourselves. It's almost something obscene in itself by spending that kind of money on a seat in the House of Representatives, but that's what's happening. And the trend lines just go up and up and up, particularly with Citizens United. I think what we're going to see is that this election is just the early, early indication of how much that's going to change money in American politics. After serving here for some time, I came to the conclusion that this place may be less than the sum of its parts. The whole may be less than the sum of its parts here. The members here are great people, good to work with, and the best friends I'll probably ever have. No, I don't regret my vote. Uh, my staff told me, who had been answering the telephones and answering the mail, this is, this is a tough vote. It's gonna, it's gonna cost you, and I said yes, but I believe I'm voting on the right side of history. I think the present incumbent, Barack Obama, is extremely intelligent, also a quick stay like Bill Clinton, but uh, he needs to pick up on some of the Clinton personal devices and, and, and lobbying issues. But uh, at some point, the White House has got to get involved. If it's cap and trade, if it's the budget, if it's uh, approval of the next round of the Star Treaty. The White House has got to be on the field working it constantly, member by member and collectively as well. I've enjoyed this work as much as anybody who ever did it. I really, I was one of the people in life who got to do what he wanted to. Mm -hmm.